Allow me to start today's reflective review with a word of gratitude to Vel. If anybody of you have any real contact with me or know my previous gaming experience, you know who Vel is. And uh, Vel gave me the idea I started using last week with playlists. It's worked out great. It's been it's been a fantastic idea. It, it, it load, uh, got rid of the bog on the main blog page. It got uh, it made it so that p people don't have to click and then click and then click or do the preloading thing or whatever. They can just hit hit the link and the whole playlist plays. It's a great idea. Nothing but props to Villa, man. So thanks, man. You're awesome. Uh, in honor of him, I've decided to go ahead and do my reflective review today uh, based on a game he requested. I've been mum on the details of what game that is because I didn't want to spoil the surprise for anyone, but I, I think you'll enjoy this. Uh, today, I'm reviewing Barbie's Mall Adventures for the NES. Now, this game was a little bit on the buggy side, I'll admit. I had to pull up a, an emulator in order to, to pull this thing up back up. And it's r the graphics in the background kind of do this thing. Like, you know, just the whole graphics are constantly uh, scrolling because they don't have a proper uh, set point set. And so the whole time you actually don't know what's background and what's trying to kill you. And and I'm, might I add, having a Barbie game where things are constantly trying to kill you just kind of strikes me as odd. It's like, I don't know, it's like having a Care Bear game where you get the minigun and you're like, <laughs> you know, that, that doesn't seem to fit for me. No, not that I know much about Care Bears. <laughs> I admit it. I've seen the Care Bear movie, or the second movie, or whatever. Whichever one had No Heart or Dark Heart, whatever the crap his name was. That, that's the only thing I've seen. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not actually doing a review of Barbie's Mall Adventure. The worst game of all time. Never been usurped in that title. But I figured Vel would really appreciate that review. So, I in a nutshell, Vel, here you go. Uh, Barbie's Mall Adventure, not so hot. I, I didn't care for it, and I've never paid past ten minutes into it. I, I just can't bring myself to it. It's a terrible game. No, I'm talking about Minecraft today. Uh, anybody in the world probably knows what Minecraft is at this point in time. It has exploded in popularity to a psychotic degree. To, to, to an extent I don't even know how to properly explain. It, it's the world of Warcraft, of casual games, it really is. Uh, Minecraft... I'm not even sure where to start, because, see, Minecraft isn't exactly a new game. It's been out for a while now. Uh, What's-His-Face has been working on it, and he's been using the money he made with it to go branch out and do other games, which is funny, because Minecraft is actually not out yet. It's not in retail. You could play it right now. You could play it for free right now, or you could go play the... Uh, you can donate money, and that's how it works. You donate money, and you technically get a copy of it. You don't actually have a copy yet, because the game's not out yet, but you get in the beta, a.k.a. you can play it as it's being updated. And Lord knows when this game will be done. I mean, they just added the capacity for NPCs and randomly generated towns and things like that in the last patch. And NPCs aren't even actually in yet. You know, they have a food meter now you have to eat in order to keep going. They had an exp experience meter. It doesn't actually do anything yet, but at some point you'll be able to get talents. You know, all that fun stuff. But the game's still very much in beta. Despite this, it is incredibly popular for a game that's not out yet. Go figure. And I want to just kind of cover why I personally think that is, and why I like it. Because I do admit I like Minecraft. I spent three months of my life this year, uh, as several people know, building a lot, actually. Uh, what I had to do, I'll just explain really quick. My Minecraft is uh, pixel art in 3D, and, and that's, that's how I tend to think of it. You can do other things with it, you can do plenty of things with it, but I do it to build, right? So I have monsters turned off in my server, because go away, I, I don't feel like dealing with you. <laughs> you know? I'm not playing this to survive, I'm not playing this for the fun of, of building something and making it last. I'm playing this to build something. I, I, want, I want to build, I want to craft. And so, to me this is a form of artwork. Go ahead and make fun if you want, I, I really don't care. I planned out, I, I got a, a chunk of the land that I really liked. I had to level a mountain that was there, that took a while by itself. And then I had to dig in to the mountain, because what I wanted was a crater, right? Now the problem, I realized this very quickly in the planning stages, is that if you, it, this is pixel art, right? This is, it, I mean, everything's a block. Every, everything's done by grid. The, the whole game is, is, is blocky in this manner. And so you can't actually have a truly smooth surface. You have to plan for that. And so if I made, I made this circle, I planned out the circle. It was an actual circle thing. And yes, that, that's harder to do than it sounds like when you really think about it. When, when your your view is each pixel at a time, and you have to look back and say, okay, that was the three, and this is the two, so this is the five. No, after that was planned out, if I had just built in without any plan, it would have looked like, uh, I can't actually equate this, it would have been a pyramid. It would have come straight in like this. It wouldn't have actually been a sphere, and I didn't want that. So then I had to actually plot out a semi-sphere and, and draw, I think it was uh, 48 circles of 
decreasing size going down in. The, the end result was absolutely gorgeous. I, I took screenshots galore, and I, I love the look of it, and, and it, feel free to ask me sometime on the comments or whatever for the server ID if you really want to see it, or just for some pictures. But, I, I know you don't care. <laughs> Point being, it took a long time. I was really pleased with the result. I had a lot of help. Samantha helped me the whole, wo whole load of the way. She also didn't help me some of the way. She laid a lot of dynamite, and that didn't help. I, I smacked her. It's okay. I smacked her a lot. <laughs> Somehow, since she lives 400 miles away from me, I was like, Whoa! And then there was this really long pause, and all of a sudden she's like, Hey! No. Point being that then I had to build the, the veil, because, well, I liked the idea, and it the, the veil kind of evolved over the time. What, what the veil is, is a solid obsidian wall, uh, 150 blocks in diameter, that encases the whole area I was building in. And actually, at some point, I'm going to go back and finish this. I just, I've just i been busy with other things lately, but I'm going to go back and finish the ceiling, which is the real point. The whole area will be completely encased in darkness, and it'll look really awesome. Because, you know, there's still lights on. The castle is still lit. Which, speaking of which, that's the castle. The, the actual, this whole thing was initially an idea to build a floating castle. The castle that never was. If you know anything about myself, the guilds I run, or Kingdom Hearts in general, you probably understand what the castle never was is supposed to mean. And so... You know, there you go. But uh, it was a long and, 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 and arduous process. It took a lot of time and effort. None of this was imported. You, there's programs you can get where you can build something just with a little interface, you know, plop, 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 and then you can import that to a server. A lot of people do that uh, when they generate really big stuff, like the dragons that are literally screens wide. Like, you actually can't see the whole extent of the dragon because the render, ra render radius isn't that far. And, uh, you know, Stormwind's castle... That, you know, uh, yeah, there's a lot of Warcraft stuff. There's a lot of Lord of the Rings stuff. Someone did Minas Tirith in Minecraft. That person is insane. I, I suggest you go YouTube. Minas Tirith. Uh, M-I-N-A-S-T-I-R-I-T-H, I believe. Uh, Minecraft. And you will see exactly why that person is psychotic. Even if they did it in a program, still. But everything I did was by hand, and I'm really proud of that, actually. And I think this this is going to summarize it for me right here. Th th this is what I'm getting to. Why I like Minecraft. Why I enjoy Minecraft. Why I think other people like Minecraft. In something like Geary's Mod, uh, if you don't know what Geary's Mod is, just go away. Something like Geary's Mod, you just snap your fingers and it's there. You make whatever, you design whatever, it's just bam, bam, I, I just make it happen, right? In Minecraft, you have to work for it. Now, obviously I was using server commands to give myself blocks, because otherwise it would be next to impossible to have crafted anything that I built. The, 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 the semi-sphere, the crater I mentioned, is solid iron iron blocks. Each iron block is six or nine iron bars, so I'm not sure that much iron exists in the world, <laughs> to be completely honest. Oh, and by the way, the castle was also solid iron, so... But, but, I did plan it out manually. I worked it out manually. I didn't have any flight mods. I, tr I tried, I'll be completely honest. After, after a while, I was getting tired of falling and working my way back up, and then falling, and working my way back because because a lot of these really stretch, a lot of these designs really stretch up, and so you have to build. I, I got really good at what I call scaffolding. I, I had just a giant pile of glass, and I just build up, build up. Okay, put the block here, put the block here. Up, oh, that slipped. Okay, second, second scaffolding. All right, block here, block here, done. And break the scaffolding down, break the scaffolding down. Yeah, you know, all that stuff. You work at it. I guess is what I'm getting to here. You really have a sense of accomplishment, and. I'm, I'm trying to think of how to express this properly, because whoops, it's been mentioned before that why would you ever want to have a game that feels like a second job, right? And I can understand that at the very least. You know, I, I, I get why some people, EVE Online is probably the worst example of that, because EVE Online does feel like a job. But what do you do in EVE Online? You accomplish things, right? You you build your little company, your corporation, you, or rather your your proprietorship or your partnership or your corporation, whatever you feel like doing. You build yourself up from scratch, and you look back and say, "Yes, I did that." You can do that in games like that. You can do you can dig a crater in Minecraft and fill it with iron and and, and look, stand back and and just I did that. I I accomplished that and and have that feeling of of just. Yes, I did something. And yes, it's just zeros and ones, but that doesn't make it any less real than anything else that you actually put time and effort into. Because real time, real effort, real thought went into this. It's not like something you just, oh, if I was just sitting here and I was like, oh, I'm going to picture a crater. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That's Gary's mod right there. That's just 
making it happen. There's no effort involved. There's no struggle. There's no work. 